Okay, I have to go out tonight. I just found out and I have a headache. So I have to make myself look reasonable. How am I gonna do this? First of all, I'm gonna moisturize. You headache suffers? No. It's close to having that headache face. It's been happening for the past few days. I don't know what's happening because we've had really nice weather. Usually this happens when it's rainy outside. Let's see if I can fix myself up and pretend as I often do. This is the Omega Water Cream by Inky List and the Hyaluronic Acid from Inky List as well. It's sitting beside me, so I really like it. it goes really nice under makeup. I self-tanned myself last night, so I have to match it. Does this match? Yeah, I think that's good. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation, by the way. Maybe I'll just use my finger. I think the glow will help once the Advil kicks in. Look at this, that's ridiculous. That's what happens when you don't remove the self-tan before you put another self-tan on. I'm so dry there. <laughs> Forgive my fingers, how embarrassing. That match is really good, eh? I'm red in here too. I'm just like hot flashing today, I'm headachy. What the hell? My sponge isn't exactly clean, but I would like to just take the excess off along with my sweat. I'm gonna do my eye makeup first because I'm using the greens again. And if I have any fallout, I wanna be able to clean it up really easy. So I'm gonna start off with my soft ochre paint pot. Oh shit, I forgot to use the base in here. Darn it. What does that look like? Oh yeah, okay. Let's just, <laughs> I'm gonna double whammy it because I wanna see what that looks like. Okay, it's kind of same as the soft ochre. I went to the massage therapist yesterday and she said my head felt like it was shrink wrapped. She said it was so tight and that's what it feels like. All right, I'm going to replicate what I did the other day. I'm gonna go into this brown color right here. By the way, this is a backstage Dior khaki neutrals. I know it's high end, but it's nice. It's just a, a little gift to yourself or to the makeup lover in your family. So that brown color is my transition shade. I'm gonna take this color right here and put it all over the lid, right in there. I feel like this color would be really pretty just on its own too, without the transition color. You don't need to go all fancy. Now I'm gonna take this color right here and place it on the inner third and right over top of that green. This is taking me seconds, by the way. Make sure to blend the crease again. I'm gonna take this green under the eye, doing it a little bit different than I did before. Just a little softer. I'm gonna take that darker color and deepen up this area right here. That just makes it. Don't be afraid of green. Not a fan necessarily of wearing it for clothes, but on my eyes, I love it. And on my last video, I used this color right here. You can see, oh, so pretty. How sparkly it is. Just pop it right on the center there. And I'm gonna do the same thing, only I think I'm gonna spritz the brush. Oh shoot, <laughs> I need to put concealer on. Why am I doing that? That's the headache that's confusing me. I have fallout today, but I didn't have that yesterday. The mascara pulls it all together. Maybe I have a headache because I've been wearing my hair up in a ponytail for days. That might be some micellar water. That foundation's really nice, but I don't get as much coverage on these areas here. And because I self-tanned, I really have those popping. So I am going to use my Bobbi Brown concealer stick. Hopefully it's not too light for my self tan. And see if I can camouflage those a little bit better. I'm gonna use Bobbi Brown's Bisque Corrector right there where I have the most darkness. You'll see that that will brighten it right up. So a color corrector will neutralize the color that's underneath. It's different than a concealer. So patting that in, I want it to stay exactly where I want it, right there. Okay, and now I'm gonna use the beige right there, and right there, and right there. 
maybe a bit there. If I wanted to be fancy, I could even do there. <laughs> and I could actually go right there as well. Why not? Tap it in. This one, I'm gonna swipe and shear out. And here I'm padding. And I'm gonna turn this brush around because it has a narrow side right there. And I'm gonna blend that. So I don't want to disrupt the shadow underneath. Perfection. A little bit of powder. And a little bit here too. A little bit of bronzer. Okay, eyebrows are on. I think I look healthier. <laughs> My headache's still there. It'll go away. It'll go away. I'm gonna make it go away. The only thing I'm missing is blush. I'm gonna use Brilliant Nude. This is an hourglass palette from a past Christmas collection, and I love it. I love hourglass blushes. They give a really nice glow. Because I have color on my eyes, I don't want it to go too crazy, you see? I don't feel like I need a highlighter when I use these. It's just a really nice glow. It's radiant. I feel like I look better. I am going to go cut my hair, style it, and I will be ready for the night. Let me know what you guys think of this eyeshadow. I think it's really pretty. Don't be afraid of greens. I hope this helps, and I will see you later. Bye.